The next thing I wanted to talk about is high availability. So in Zen Server 5, we actually added some great new capabilities around automatically restarting virtual machines if you have a physical server that runs into a failure. Mm -hmm. One of the things we've done is, you know, we've made the platform super open. And a great example of that is that we have two partners, Stratus and Marathon, that have actually built enhanced availability solutions on top of Zen Server 5. Mm -hmm. And so what I wanted to do is actually show you the Marathon solution. They've got some pretty neat technology, and I want to show you Zen App running on Marathon. So I'm going to bring up the, uh, the EverRun interface here, and I've got a couple VMs. One's a SQL server that's turned off here, and I just want to show you how easy it is to protect these virtual machines. So they've got a little wizard here. Level one is what we have in the product today. If a physical box goes down, we'll smartly restart that virtual machine on other servers. Mm -hmm. Level two they're shipping today, and this is component level fault tolerance. So you can actually have redundant storage networking subsystems on the machine. Something fails with storage or networking, doesn't skip a beat. And then level three is what I want to show you today. And I know you're excited to, to demo this to the folks here. This is true system level fault tolerance, where we actually take a workload, and in this case, I've got a Zen app workload, and we actually have it running in lockstep across two physical servers. So I've got this Zen app workload. And what's happening is on these two servers, we have Zen Server 5 installed on the hardware. And then we have the Marathon EverRun FT technology that's coming out early next mm -hmm. year in Q1 installed on top. And then we take a Zen app workload, single VM, and we say we want to protect it. And then what happens, it'll span both machines. So right now as we're talking, Zen app is running in lockstep across these two physical servers. And it's actually delivering an application, which we have on this monitor, and we'll bring up here. And you can see we've got some movement there. Mm -hmm. So what happens is you've now got a truly super fault-tolerant environment. You can lose the networking, the storage. You can actually lose a whole box. So Mark, you know what I'd like you to do is go behind and actually pull the power cable on this server. And you'll see that this thing's going to keep running. And the only way we're really going to know, if you watch very carefully, you might see a slight pause. Okay. You're not going to lose anything. And you'll see in their interface, it'll show you. So go ahead and yank that power There are a whole cable. bunch of wires back here. How well, many should I yank? you can yank whatever you want. Okay. All right. Here we go. You ready? There he goes. So he's yanked it. You'll see a slight pause with the application. Keeps on running. And really, the only way we know that something happened is we look in the user interface, right? So this is amazing technology. This is tandem computing for any type of workload you have in your environment. I mean, that's the kind of redundancy. You could take a sledgehammer to your server, and you don't skip a beat at all. Wow. So, awesome. Yeah, pretty cool stuff.